Can you get addicted to LSD? There's a big stigma around acid, especially for people that don't understand psychedelics. And the psychedelics, it splits communities very, very extreme. You have the psychedelic community that sees a lot of the benefits to it. Um, there are a lot of therapeutic benefits to LSD, to MDMA. And then you have this whole other group that is just anti-drug and it's a drug. You know, they're scheduling it, um, felony charges. But what is, you know, LSD? I mean, is it really addictive? This is my personal experience on it. As a recovering uh, cocaine alcoholic addict, my drugs of choice were alcohol and cocaine. I've been sober since 7:25:17, And this is, can you really get addicted to LSD? What's up guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. My name is Eric and I am a recovering cocaine alcoholic addict. Those were my drugs of choice and I got sober 7:25:17. I share a lot about addiction. I share a lot about mental health. I've went through a lot of struggles in life and I found just sharing my testimonies and sharing my stories helps a lot of people along on their journey of sobriety. One of the things I want to talk about is LSD and psychedelics and how addictive are these? And I have a very addictive personality. Um, my personality, my drugs of choice, of course, were alcohol and cocaine, and they're very extreme. I was doing two to three fifths of vodka a day. Uh, I was snorting one to two eight balls of cocaine a day. Uh, hydrocodone uh, painkillers was a drug that was never my drug of choice, but I definitely saw the draw to them. Um, I've taken Kratom. I've, I've traveled and aired it through a lot of medications. And there have been a lot of things that I've been addicted to, even when it comes to like Adderall, which I use for my ADHD, I've been on since I was about 17. And even addiction wise on that, I can stop taking Adderall. Um, do I notice like, you know, the craving and the need like a high? No, but I do notice, you know, I am addicted to it in some forms because it does form an addiction to you, especially when it comes to serotonin and dopamine. But now when it comes to LSD, how addictive is this drug really? And my personal belief is, is that LSD um, is not really all that addictive. And I'm just going to say, this is my personal opinion on it, that LSD is not that addictive drug. And I think a lot of people that have experimented and done things with psychedelics can tell you. Um, the big difference being, when I look at addiction, I look at like with cocaine. I would start off in the morning and I would do five, six lines or even rails of just cocaine. And throughout the whole day, I would be doing coke nonstop. So the next day, all of a sudden, I would be doing it again. Where with LSD, it is almost practice where you're going to drop some acid or take some acid, however it is. And it's going to last for, you know, that whole day. You're going to go through this whole experience. You become a lot more vulnerable, open, sharing. Like all your walls drop down. You see a lot of different visuals and hallucinations. You know, hallucinations. Uh, it, 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 some people will even describe it as just like this, like coming to Jesus moment. Um, you're able to work through a lot of things. Uh, you're very, very open also. And, and it's almost like your subconscious is very open to suggestions even. Uh, but the one thing that I have learned when it's come to anybody that I've really met that has used psychedelics, that they don't use it then nonstop. It's not, I've never met anyone who has dropped acid one day, drop it the next day, drop it the next day, drop it the next day. Like it went through like a week long bender. Uh, dropping acid. I've never seen that before in my life. So I have to really say from just my experience that uh, it is not one of those drugs that really truly creates this strong craving and desire to continually do it. Uh, the one thing I noticed that with uh, LSD is when I had used it, the next like, couple days, I'm like almost digesting what I had experienced and I was still almost very calm, um, but no craving and desire to do it again or to reach this like high again. It never really gave me big mood energy. I was very much into my thoughts. Uh, I was very much into music and touch. Um, didn't really want to be around anyone and wanted to almost like experience this. And if I did have talks, I thought of having really deep talks. I've never, never recorded myself on LSD. So I don't know how deep my talks really were. Cause I thought I had deep talks on cocaine and that was a bunch of jumble, but it was never this drawing driving factor that I have to keep using this drug. I have to achieve that, that state again. And I think that's one of the big things when it comes to addiction is what drives us is it a drug that drives us to continually try to reach a certain state, a st certain energy, a certain point uh, that draws us in? And now I do believe that people can be addicted to essentially anything out there. So I'm not saying that LSD isn't addictive, but in my personal opinion, I don't think it is that addictive of a drug. I think it actually proves a lot more benefits to it than there are negatives. It's one of those drugs out there, such as like with marijuana, that these are two drugs out there that have actually, I think, more benefits than they do the negative side effects. Especially because LSD, it is a synthetic drug and it's been made in a lab. 
Uh, but it has been known to actually rewire your brain uh, to help with anxiety, to help with depression, to on your serotonin levels, which is your mood stabilizer, your dopamine. There's a lot of proven benefits to it. But again, it's one of these things that it got labeled as, as a dangerous drug. I don't think it is all that dangerous. I think that it is more of an experience. Again, I don't go out and suggest anybody to do anything. Like, believe me, I don't suggest anyone to go do any drugs out there, even when it comes to marijuana. But I do believe in the medical side to many things out there. And again, these are my personal beliefs. And people will say, well, you're not sober because you take Adderall. Yeah, Adderall helps me function as an adult. I don't burn through my Adderall like I would an addict. An addict will go through 30 pills of Adderall in a day or two, three days, maybe. Where with me, my Adderall lasts even longer than what it's supposed to because a lot of days I forget to even take it. So it's not that draw for me. Uh, but again, I share just out of experience for the addicts out there going through it, the people out there going through it, the people out there with questions when it comes down to drugs, uh, when it comes down to illegal substances even, and, and to family members who use illegal substances, because I really do feel that there is not enough education out there and understanding from the addict standpoint of what we experience and what we go through and why we are an addict. I mean, it's one of those baffling questions of the universe is like, why is somebody addicted to something? Why is somebody have a drug of choice? That's one thing, but somebody else's drug of choice is something else. And for anybody who's going through sobriety and trying to get sober, I have links always down below to NA and AA. Uh, feel free to check out those resources. They're great for anybody struggling. And if you are struggling with addiction, reach out for help. Just let everybody know, hey, I feel that I'm an addict. I'm struggling with this. I need your help and truly go through it. And it is a fight. It is a struggle. And that's why I think sharing makes a huge difference just to hear other people's testimonies. If you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below because the more that we hear other people's stories, other people's success stories, other people's struggles, especially when you're going through that sobriety stage, especially that first year even, you're looking for hope and you're looking for people also that can relate to you so that you know that you're insane, but not that insane and you can fight through that insanity. So for the one out there going through it right now, you got this and it's one day at a time.